Hi guys, welcome back to April After Dark. Tonight isn't going to be about, um, I don't know, I'm gonna be rambling a little bit, but I really, really, really couldn't wait. The reason this bear, this bear is not like, you know, I'm like probably looking at it thinking, is this like a haunted bear story that she's gonna be telling sometime soon? But no, this is actually um, one of my big gifts for Christmas this year from my fiance, and I loved this this gift. This gift is amazing. Okay, so it was the last gift that I opened. Um, I had no idea this is what he was getting me. You know, I had given him a list of all these things that I wanted, like all these books on haunted places. I gave him even an idea to take me to um, the... Warren's Occult Museum to have an evening with Annabelle because you can actually do that and I'll have to tell that's a whole other video I'll tell you guys about but I was hoping I was getting like you know maybe tickets to that he's making it sound like that in text the entire time but I didn't really know what he was gonna get and you know I, I also wanted some more some different like the diva ring lighting for my camera I wanted another vlogging camera I just didn't know what to ask for books on haunted places like the Queen Mary and stuff like that so I really wasn't sure if he was gonna do anything like that he did get me a lot of um, books on haunted stuff which that's what I asked for and that's you could buy me that any time of the year even when I was you know 10 years old and that would have been fine with me but so anyway my last gift that I opened um, I totally wasn't expecting this but <clears throat> it came from it came in this so I opened up a box and it was wrapped weird around this and I was like what is that and I opened it up and I nearly had a heart attack and said ghost stop, ghost hunting equipment. And I was thinking there's no, there's like nothing that would be in this box that I wouldn't absolutely freak out over and love. So I opened up the box, this suit, it's like a, like a little suitcase. <clears throat> and it came with um, extra stuff. I got, um, it's ghost stop. If you guys are interested in getting um, paranormal, like ghost hunting equipment, this is the place to go, you can get you know, verbatim good stuff, but I got some tokens for that. Um, I got a little ghost top keychain that's really cute. I'm gonna put it on something. I got um, a ghost top uh, flashlight, one that I was actually wanting, and I don't have it set up right now, but it's the kind of flashlight that you can actually do a test with haunted dolls, and I um, wasn't gonna tell you that, guys this yet, but I do have two haunted dolls in my presence I'm at this house and that's a whole other two stories that you guys are gonna be told another time so don't freak out but um, you know nothing's crazy happening over here but um, this will go in handy for some some investigating that I'm gonna do of my two different dolls that I have so that came free with this and this is what was in there it is boo buddy he is um, a paranormal investigating you know uh, helper like he's a ghost hunting bear interactive bear and he's smaller than I thought he was gonna be but he's got his little backpack and this this has his stuff that you turn on and off but this bear I'm telling you like I can't wait to use him there's the ghost um, ghost stop symbol on his butt but I love him, um, and his name is Boo Buddy, as he says, and he talks, and he says over like 60 different things. So he's able to help you, um, he's able to help you ghost hunt, like he has questions that he'll ask. So for one thing, he is kind of a trigger object for, ch you know, childlike ghosts, um, because he's a teddy bear. But, and he seems very harmless, you know, I'm sure ghosts and, or if, if you know, whatever, isn't going to be, they're going to be attracted to this more than they will be a person, so, you know. But anyway, he's a good trigger object, and what you can do with him, which I figured out is, and I haven't wanted to use him too much around this house, because it's just, it's not really, I want to take him on an actual investigation and set my video camera up. But basically, he can detect, um... EMF, he can detect temperature drops like immediately. He can detect if he's being touched at all by something that, you know, he can he can tell all this. So if he's being touched, um, like here or here, there's, he'll light up in the dark. Like it'll turn red like when something is touching it and then he'll say, ew, you wanna be my friend? You know, or he'll say different things like that. And then he'll ask them to count. He'll ask them questions like, what is your name? Um, where are you from? So if you have your, you know, digital voice recorder to record EVPs, 
he will kind of ask the questions for you. Like maybe if I wasn't in the room or something, he would do all this and if I had a camera, I could capture whatever I needed to. But um, he'll do stuff, you know, like you can hold my, Alec, you can hold, did you hold my hand? I would like to hold your hand. Or, you know, he asks all the questions for you and he'll tell you, you know, the temperature drops. So he'll say something like, did you make it hotter in here? Or, ooh, it's getting cold in here. Did you make it cold in here? He asks all kinds of stuff. I mean, I haven't been done, you know, messing with him and kind of figuring him out, but, um, you know, I, I like held this for a minute and he's like, <laughs> that tickles. So he'll feel anything, he can detect anything. This is not, this is a $200, you know, uh, paranormal ghost hunting, you know, boo buddy. I mean, he's, he's the real deal. He's the one I wanted. He comes in brown or cream colored and I'm so glad that he picked brown because this is the one that I wanted and he's so freaking cute. I absolutely love this bear. So this was my big, one of my big gifts for Christmas that I got. Um, and I couldn't wait to show you guys on my channel what this is because he's probably going to turn into one of my, one of my favorite um, items to use when I am investigating. Um, I don't know where I'm going to use him yet. Um, probably definitely, I've got some places in mind, but I couldn't wait to show you guys this. Um, let me know if you guys have heard of him. There is also a Boo Buddy Jr., which is a, a smaller bear. He doesn't have all the capabilities that this one does, but this one has, like, everything that you could, you know, want in. He's like your little investigator, you know? He's got his backpack and everything. That's, this is basically where you turn him on and you put batteries in him and stuff. But he's just so cute, and he's not, he's not a toy, so he's my bear. I mean... And he came in this amazing ghost hunting thing, which I'm probably going to put all my stuff in it because it's just so cool. Um, and I love it. <clears throat> Hopefully this year I could start doing some investigations. I've already been asked um, to do some. Or for me to come check some places out. So um, I'm actually very excited about that for this new year. Um, believe me you, there are many things coming. So I wanted to share him with you guys. And... Um, Yes, I did let it slip out that I do have two haunted dolls that I did get off of eBay. Um, I know that that might seem crazy to some of you, but those were going to be videos that they have their own story, believe me, and their own things that I could tell you about, but nothing bad, nothing, you know, anything. Um, I'll tell you their names another time, but I do have to say that one of them, um, I think she was re reacting to my fiance the other day. Um, I wasn't here. I had just left for lunch. I come home for lunch usually because I live about 15 minutes from work. So I had left for lunch. Um, I left the, ho the house to go back up to work. And he was sitting there on the couch, he said. Now, this is something that, like, we were talking about weird noises because we've been hearing some weird noises. But I always think it's just neighbors and stuff. My first instinct is not, ooh, it's paranormal or it's a ghost. It's probably the AC or a bird outside, or something walking around outside, or, you know, the house settling, or our neighbor, or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But, anyway, he just told me this this morning, um, but he said that he, w that I had left, and he was sitting there watching TV in the living room, and that he was sitting there, and all of a sudden he was like, uh, I heard, <gasps> like that, he, like a human gasp, like really loud, and he said it, <clears throat> yes, this sickness has got me. <clears throat> I can't do that again. But he heard gasp. A true verbatim human gasp. Um, and it, he looked over at our dog Kingsley, who's bigger, who hangs out in the living room, whose bed is in there. And the dog wasn't doing anything. He was just looking at him. And um, he wasn't, the more I thought about it, it didn't sound human. And funny thing is, I have gotten my one of my most recent haunted doll. I only have two that um, I got out. I got her out to, next to him during Christmas, and some weird stuff did happen. But it wasn't a full investigation, so I didn't have any film rolling or anything. But um, I left that doll out, so she's sitting. She's very little from the 1900s, and she's just sitting like on the back of the sofa. So I didn't, he didn't even know that. So when he mentioned the story, he's like, he was, I meant to tell you this, it was just really weird. I heard, I know I heard a human gasp and it wasn't, you were gone. It was just weird. And it freaked him out. <laughs> he was looking around like thinking that maybe I stuck back in the house somehow. And I was like, no, I was at work. You know that. 
yeah, so I just, I didn't think of it, but I, you know, thought I'd tell you about it. And um, I told him, I was like, well, <laughs> I was like, I wonder if it was um, my doll. And he's like, what do you mean your doll? He's very weird about these dolls being out in public places where he's near them. He's very, very weird about that. Um, I said, well, you know, Christmas, um, my my stepdaughter wanted to, when I got this, she wanted to see it with my doll because she knows about my haunted dolls and stuff. And so we headed out and that was Christmas, you know, everything kind of went crazy after that. The tornadoes hit, um, we immediately went on vacation. So I never thought about anything else to do with the doll. I just, she's so little, I just put her back kind of behind the, you know, she's up this, like right back here, um, on this, on the sofa. So when he told, when I told him about the doll, he was like, wait a minute, you're talking about the doll that was like in a salt circle, like hidden in the other, in the guest room. I said, yeah, he goes, what? Wait, what, why? Why was this doll out? When, when was this doll out? I was like, you were distracted, robbing presents for your family. I was like, Rihanna wanted to see what um, if it would have a reaction with um, Boo Buddy, and she kind of did. So I just left her out. I didn't really think anything of it. I mean, I never went back in the living room. I slept the rest of the day with chicken soup. I was really, very really sick with the stomach flu. So he was gone. He worked that night came home, we were supposed to go out of town, um, you know, so he, I was like, you know, and we were gone, we were gone for a long time, so I never, I wasn't here to put the doll away, it was just out, and he's like, oh my gosh, why would, you know, why would you do that, and I was like, it wasn't, it was, just, it was something that happened, honestly, it wasn't anything, you know, like, I wasn't trying to freak you out, I haven't really heard anything, but, um, I found it very interesting that he mentioned that without even knowing anything about the doll. And he kind of freaked out because he's very weird about these dolls. He doesn't like them being out or in his presence at all. Like, he's just very weird about it. So if there's any noise ever or whatever, he thinks it's always one of my dolls. But I, I don't know yet, honestly. I don't instinctively feel that it is. But, you know, we're not, we're okay. There's nothing wrong with these dolls. I mean, so, I don't know. But funny little paranormal, sh you know, whatever. I don't know. It's just a weird, funny, paranormal story I would share with you guys um, because I have been hearing noises myself and my dog was growling at stuff on the bed last night and I was by myself and it was waking me up and I was just like, what are you growling at? Stop. But then I don't want him to stop because what if there is something? I'd, I'd rather have him be my protection somewhat. So that was happening last night. My fiance got home from work and that's when he decided to tell me about that because I told him about Motley growling and everything. So anyway, I've never really um, done a little vlog like this where I just tell you what's been going on, like one little experience we've had. Maybe I'll start doing that more often because there are more experiences in my life that are, you know, way more than that and some that are very downright horrifying that have happened in the past. So if you like that, then let me know in the comment section below. Just give this video a thumbs up. Please share my videos. I need to get to 100 subscribers so I can give you guys a good giveaway. Let me know if any of you guys are into The Walking Dead. I have a giant bundle package that I will give uh, to you guys. Let me know if you're into paranormal activity. I have something for you guys too. And let me know if you were ever, if you saw The Visit recently. I just got that on Blu-ray this week. I will do a review on that film. Um, but I do have some goodies for the visit. A goodie, I should say. So let me know. I have stuff to give away and I want to give it away to the right people. So get me 100 subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway. So anyway, um, love you guys. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> this is the first video that you're seeing. My name is April After Dark. Um, click subscribe. Hashtag April After Dark. Hashtag 100 subscriber giveaway. And um, as always, happy haunting, stay scared, and have a very creepy night. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye.